Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we're gonna have a look why should you purchase the new MacBook Pro 2021 with an M1 Pro processor. So guys, today in this video, we're gonna specifically have a look at to the reasons why you should be purchasing the new MacBook Pro against the MacBook Air M1 or the MacBook Pro M1. So I've been using this new MacBook Pro for around 30 days now. So it has been around 30 days, not exactly completed the 30 days, but yeah, I've been using it a lot and we have almost tested for every single purpose. All the softwares has been already tested for load testing, stress testing, and we have made a lot of reviews for this new MacBook Pro. And if you, by the way, want to have a look at to those videos, the link is flashing up into the top right corner. You can just click up there and have a look at to those videos as well. Now let's get into the first reason why I consider this MacBook Pro as one of the best MacBooks for the current year. So the one reason is all time greater productivity. So this is the one machine that can provide you productivity at any moment at any time. So whether you are traveling, whether you are at home or in office, it can provide you productivity everywhere. And regardless of whether it's powered into the power source or whether it's working onto a battery. So the performance never degrades. It works like charm and provides a very impressive performance for anything and at any place. So for example, if you're traveling, if you have a flight travel of around 20 hours, if you're flying to some different place, and if you want to have productivity onto the flight, so you can carry around this MacBook Pro and have a desktop-like productivity onto a machine that is just inside in flight. So this can power you with immense potential and for productivity. And any software can work like charm and for any kind of an usage. So moving on to the next one, the next reason why we should consider purchasing this new MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor is greater longevity of the product so some of you might be actually thinking and trying to make up a decision like i want to use a macbook or a laptop for more than five years eight years of time so if you're one of those who is actually trying to invest the money into a product that can last for more than five years eight years of time so this is the one product for example, you might be a student right now and you'll be thinking that after four years of time, I'll become a professional and I'll be needing a professional tool for professional work. So when you'll be upgrading from being a student to a professional, you'll be needing a professional machine. So this one machine can serve you well for that purpose either. So no matter at which moment of time you go on further from this point onwards. So for the next five years, at least, this is a really powerful machine and it can serve you well for any reason or for any task. And even if you are trying to go a foreign product that can serve you for more than eight years, usually MacBooks are made to last for more than 10 years. And this is the one machine that can actually allow you to move for more than 10 years of the time. Now, no one actually knows what the future would be because now M1 Pro processor. So we are getting immense performance in the M1 Pro processor. And by the time it would be reaching five years later, we'd be reaching. So it would be something M5 Pro or M7 Pro, whatsoever it might be. We do not know about it. What would be the performance? But from the current point of perspective, we can just go around with this machine and it's perfectly one of those machines that can easily last you for more than five years, seven years of timeline. So if you are looking for an investment into a machine that can last you for a very long time, have a very long longevity. So this is the one. And moving to the next thing that is the RAM performance. Now, you might be a student, you might be thinking that if I get up to and 16 gigabytes of RAM and if I move to a professional work later on after four or five years, so the RAM that would be there would, would make it a feel short or it would not actually allow us to work at to the full, full potential. So it's not so. Because the RAM that we get in this M1 Pro processor, this new MacBook is of 200 gigabytes per second performance. So that's really huge and really immense. And we have, by the way, tried to test this for extreme stress. So we have tried to open more than 700 Chrome tabs, running multiple softwares, multiple tasks. But this just goes on and on and never stops. So it's still snappy. It still tries to give you the complete performance. For example, we have also tried it to work around with programming as well as video editing. Into my previous MacBook Pro, that was 2018 model, when I was doing video editing, I could do nothing into it. So just video editing or renting the videos. But in this, for example, if I'm working on a project that is for programming, so I'm working on a project, building some applications, and 
along with that if i'm also trying to video render some trying to sub export some of the videos so that works like and really impressive results so absolutely there is no issues with it so you can just try to put on any amount of load on this machine and it works really great so there's no issues into the performance and if you have even the base model 16 gigabytes version it will allow you to go more further and without any lags and with, without any performance issues so the ram efficiency on this if we just compare this to any windows machine the 16 gigabytes in this can be easily compared to in 32 gigabytes on any of the windows machines so that's how we can compare this let's get to the next thing that is this laptop is one kind of a laptop that can serve you with all kind of unprofessional for example if you're a programmer one of the best laptops to go around with and by the way our channel is all about programming and we do recommend you to get the new macbook pro m1 pro for programming purpose if you're a professional but if you're also onto the video editing side like if you're a video editor or graphic designer or vfx designer so this machine can serve you well for any kind of a profession Let's suppose you are a student who is learning programming right now and if you are using this machine for programming, it will serve you really well. But getting further into the timeline, you think that oh, I need a machine for video editing as well. So this is the one machine that can allow you to even go for video editing or for graphic designing for any kind of a task. You just need it. It's there available, ready to go on. So this is the one machine that can serve you well for anything. So if you just want performance, for any kind of a software it can be anything like for example it can be also architect programs like AutoCAD or so on things so there is no such software that cannot run in this machine and by the way if there is any specific software that requires windows environment you can also use parallels to run in this machine so parallels also works very really well we have already tested it out and if you by the way you want to have a look at to that so the link is into the top right corner you can click there and have a look at to the parallels performance as well and now finally getting to the most biggest reason why I consider this machine as the greatest machine in this 2021 year. So the reason is the new hardware IO support. So this laptop has got a complete new set of the hardware IO support. Firstly, it has got an HDMI port. So you can directly just connect to any other external display without the need of any dongles. So dongle life is now no more. So we can directly connect this to any monitor, external monitor. Along with that, it has also got a new port that is for SD card. So SD card slots are there in this machine. So for creators like me, it's very easy to transfer the file from any kind of an SD card to this machine. Really easy. Next that we have the high impedance headphone jack either so if you have any kind of an headphone or any kind of an instrument that requires a high impedance 3.5 mm jack so that's available in this machine so that's either provided and lastly the most important factor that is the external monitor support the previous macbook air used to provide one external monitor support but this has got a power of up to four monitor support so if you are going up with the m1 pro processor you can connect up to two external monitors but if you're upgrading to m1 max you can connect up to four external monitors so that's really good and amazing like for example you might be using just one single display that is would be your laptop display but later on if you want to extend the monitors so you can very easily extend the displays in this laptop and it has gotten good support for the external monitors as well and finally one more thing that's really essential and important that comes up with the io support that is the magsafe connector so this machine comes up with a charging port that is magsafe connector so magsafe is back again in this machine so that allows you to charge this machine using a magsafe port and that's really good by the way and it also provides you the fast rapid charging technology so we, you can fast charge this macbook to 50 percent in just 30 minutes of time and we have already tested that out and it works really good so if you're on to and rush if you're on uh, if you're going for a meeting and your macbook is not charged just 30 minutes of time and this macbook gets charged to 50 percent and that can last you easily for more than five hours six hours of productivity that's really amazing so for people like you and me who are on to go every time so for them this is the one machine that can serve you for all reasons and that's the way like that's the reason why i recommend to go up with the new macbook pro m1 pro 
and not with the m1r so i don't specifically say that m1r is not good machine absolutely it's one of the best machine that you can go up with it's one of the base models from where you can start up but if you are more on to a conscious side like you need a machine that can last you for a longer time than the macbook air so this is the one machine that you should be choosing out around so guys this is the complete set of reasons why i specifically think that you should be upgrading to the macbook pro with the m1 pro processor and by the way if you have got your opinions and your reasons why you should be choosing to the m1 pro processor macbooks so please leave that into the comment section down below and if you liked our video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and meet you in the next episode till then goodbye